my advice to new trader is never stop learning. Okay, every day must learn something new. If you experience stop loss or your account blow, don't despair. Try to fix it and find where the mistake is. Hello everyone and welcome back to another TFT interview. Today I have another trader from Malaysia, Ahmad, who has started with trading 2011. So I believe we have a lot to hear from him. So let's get started. Welcome Ahmad. Yeah, welcome. How are you doing today? Fine, just fine. Glad to hear that. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what got you into trading? Hey guys, uh, my name is Ahmad Chayri, also known as Chayri. I am teacher at my country. Uh, trading is one of my ways to generate income. I'm 31 years old. I'm from Asia. I started trading around 2011 and not so serious until 2016. So since 2016 until now, I quite a lot focusing on trading. What got me into trading? I just want to make some income easily without interacting interacting with a lot of people. Uh, just me and market. And you started really young. Like uh, if you said you said you're 31 now and you started uh, 2011. So you've been like uh, a teenager when you started. 18, 19, I guess. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Interesting. So can you tell us a little bit about the learning process? Uh, did you have any mentors? How did you learn? Did you learn from YouTube or like, can tell us a little bit about the learning process? I read from the internet about how to trade from forums uh, during 2010. There are not many sources that I can learn from when I started trading. Uh, trading is not so popular by then. It's very difficult to find someone who can teach how to trade or a teacher and if there is the fee are very expensive uh, i did my own trading after a few months of studying but at first uh, it was not consistent and i lost so much money after a few years facing uh, losses i started to be consistent i think in around 2018 and how did you find your strategy i learned from three or four teachers and i take a bit from each of them and I combine uh, to make uh, my own strategies and I backtest it and I find some pattern that can profitable and I uh, using the strategy until now. What did you struggle with the most? What was the hardest part in the whole journey and uh, how did you overcome those struggles? For me uh, to use it in trade, uh, not everyone is suitable to use uh, the same technique. All, everyone has different level of passion, times and emotions. In the early years, uh, I suffered a great loss due to my lack of knowledge. I made a bank loan and traded using that. So it was hard to find the system that works for you. I started to learning how to become profitable and I recover my losses. That's great. How long time did it take you to recover the losses? Long, more than three years to fully recover my losses. Wow. And uh, how is your psychology towards trading? What did you do to improve your psychology? I take a rest. I take a break after uh, losing street activity that I really enjoy it. Like uh, playing games, go to gym or swimming. Uh, after I do the activity that I, that I like and I feel uh, better. Did you read any, any psychology books or maybe listen to podcasts or watch any videos that are about trading psychology? Honestly, no. I just control my psychology by myself. So how, how did you find TFT and how is your experience with us? It was from my Facebook friends who always post about prop trading. At first, I wondered uh, what certificate they posted on the wall and what was the purpose of the certificate. When I found out about the certificate being able to make money, I mean, uh, I'm being able to get a fund account. I kept looking for information and was eager to try it out. Uh, so um, 
I try to uh, buy a challenge. I try to uh, pass this one, this two, and uh, get a final account. So how did you manage the challenges? I managed these challenges uh, with uh, a bit of stress. <laughs> I did control myself to don't overtrade, don't uh, exceed the daily drawdown. Very difficult for me uh, because uh, the digit is uh, 5%. And I really need to uh, control the DG. Did you use the same risk management on the challenges like you use on your personal account or you use another risk management? Only 5% is allowed to be uh, to loss, to floating loss uh, on the particular day. Okay. When I use it, my own uh, personal account can go higher than 5%. Uh, so I need to calculate the lot I open precisely. Yeah, and do you use any EA manager to do that for you, or how do you do that? No, uh, hundred percent uh manual trade. Uh, no, I'm not using EAs. Do you use fixed risk per trade? Let's say one percent per trade, or you play with the risk depending on how much profits you have or how much you are in a drawdown. Honestly, I'm not uh, using the fixed uh, risk. When I profit, I using the profit to make a double or triple of it. Okay, because uh, if I profit two thousand, okay, two thousand, and I I plus the daily drawdown, so I have seven thousand. I can uh, lose. So from seven thousand, I can uh, generate more profit lah. I will risk it all seven thousand, or I will risk more than 3,000 like that. So how, what is your win rate? Okay, my win rate is, last time I checked, uh, 60 to 70%. Mm -hmm. So you have quite high re win rate. That's why you can do, th do it that way. <laughs> That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Would you like to share your screen and show us how you analyze the charts and maybe an example of a trade? My strategy is only use basic metric. I have four techniques that I use, but now I will show you the easiest technique. Okay, like I said before, okay, I using Bollinger Band as uh, standard setting. Okay, so when you see the uh, candle go upside uh, the Bollinger Band, okay, like this, it go go out and close uh, upside the Bollinger Band. Okay, so after the first candle, close outside the bowling band, okay? Make sure the second candle is engulfed. Engulf the first candle, okay, like this. Uh, click engulfing, okay. So we place the entry here after the engulf candle close, okay? Then SL uh, stop loss and the TP is uh, double from the stop loss, okay? So our risk ratio reward is one to two. Do you trade only Aussie USD and gold or you trade like different instruments? Honestly, my favorite pair is gold and most of the time I only trade gold. For me, gold is pair that is easy to read and easy to predict. Uh, it's true there are a lot of pairs we can trade, but it doesn't necessarily for us to trade 20 to 30 or all pairs that lead that are listed. Uh, just with uh, one or two pairs that we really understand, we can make money. For the long uh, example, okay, we can see here, okay, the candle uh, close outside the burning band and become a bearish, uh, bearish candle. So uh, after that, so we place our uh, entry here at the close of the can uh, bullish candle, put three or five pip uh, stop loss from the shadow so the tp we take double from our risk okay like this okay you see uh so if uh this strategy we try 10 times okay if we only win four out of ten actually we uh make a money make a profit two situation we need to avoid first uh candle body is too long second the shadow is too long two situation of candle we need to avoid and don't take a trade lah. So uh, from this, we calculate, uh, uh, okay, let's say this one, okay, this one is about uh, six or seven pips. Uh, we must uh, calculate how much lot we need to open up. Uh, if uh, we hit our SL, we only lose uh, 1% of our equities. Very, very simple approach. Very simple, but uh, 
not all pairs we can use uh, this strategy. Uh, I have back tested it. The most pro profitable pair is AUD USD. Okay, so you said that you're mainly trading gold in Aussie USD. Why did you choose those instruments? This instrument, I have back tested it uh, regularly and for a long time, I have best back tested uh, gold and Audi USD long period, not about our uh, past five years. And you said that you're a scalper or intraday trader, something in between. Uh, I have four strategies. Okay, I can use a uh, scalp or swing strategy, uh, depend on the setup that I get from the chat. Uh. Did you have to adjust your strategies? depending on the market conditions because you have been trading for a very long time so i believe that the market conditions have been changing i have only experienced the COVID period but when i'm when i'm back testing i see that the market hasn't been so volatile before COVID. so did you have to do adjustments on your strategies to adapt uh, on the market conditions or you've you've used the same strategy since 2016. i adjust my strategy according to the uh, market Okay. This strategy I just used uh, for only two years. Before this, I used uh, another strategy. But when I see uh, that strategy is not profitable, I adjust to use uh, my current strategy. Lah. So this current strategy I have been used about two years and I see it's uh, profitable. And what advice would you give to new traders that are just getting started? My advice to new traders is never stop learning. Okay, Every day must learn something new. If you experience a uh, stop loss or your account blow, don't despair. Try to fix it and find where the mistake is. Do you pay attention to fundamentals? Do you trade news? Yes, I pay attention to fundamentals, but not to trade the news. If I see the news in Florida's factory calendar, I will not trade away the news due to avoid high volatility. Uh, this can cause my account to be depleted in an instant. Also, I'm not really good at reading the economic data, how it affects the market and so on. It can be said that most of my strategy is based on technical analysis. So you are just checking if there are high impact news in order to know when not to trade. Yes, exactly. So what are your goals with uh, trading and in general in life? My goal uh, is to become financial freedom and I have a lot of uh, time to spend with my family. Whatever I want, I travel the world, going to gym every day and so on. That's my dream. That's amazing. So what is financial freedom for you? For me, financial freedom is I have no debt. People or bank. I have uh, money to buy anything that I want. That's uh, the financial freedom for me. Do you have any hobbies to like free your mind and relieve the stress? My hobbies is uh, swimming and uh, go to gym. After the COVID hit, uh, I just stay at home and not going anywhere. Just eat and look at the chat. Yeah, I understand. So now you have to hit the gym to lose yeah. the weight. <laughs> physical activity is a good thing. So it's always good to be physically active. Yeah, it's... Body for, both for the mind and for the body. And do you trade any specific session? I love to trade gold and Aussie USD. Not as well mm -hmm. as uh, doing the news, but just nice to uh, make profit now. What are your future plans? My future plan is to find that uh, six hundred thousand uh, US dollar and scale up to maximum uh, value. Do you have any last words that you would like to share with us? Don't give up. Just do what you think you want to do, and uh, always finish what you started. And you want to uh, stop after a few loss? Please don't. Just. Learn and try to uh, become a profitable trader. No, no one should give up. No one should give up. <laughs> Failure is not an option. <laughs> For me, I almost give up, I think, uh, two or three times after a huge loss. How did you get the motivation to come back? My wife support me and she told me, uh, don't give up. Okay. She gave me motivation to not to give up. That's incredible. It's really important to have someone to... Uh, believe in you and uh, to push you up when you're going through a, a yes, hard time. Correct. 
Thank you so much for your time and thank you for sharing your experience with us. I wish you best of luck with your future goals and plans. And uh, I hope that we're going to have a follow-up interview when you hit the maximum allocation. Okay, thank you. That's all from today's interview. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let us know in the comments down below if I'm missing a question that you're curious about. Treat safe and until next time.